Hello, my name is Adam Bean and today I would like to, um, to implement a Java 7 application, a stock Java 7 application which runs on CentOS 7 and JDK 1.8 and full stack Glassfish v5, uh, which is Java 8 uh, reference implementation and then use um, and then uh, push it to the Docker Hub. And uh, from there, from Docker Hub, uh, use, uh, pull it from Docker Hub and run it as a an, as an, as an cloud service on Oracle Container Cloud. So this is the, um, the public registry, uh, my public AirHex registry, which is publicly available. So all the definitions are here. But let's start with the service definition. So I would like to implement a project and call it, um, first I will use my own archetype. So stock Java 7 project. I would use it, uh, I will use the name clouds, finish. So it takes a while because it fetches the archetype from Maven Central. So this is ex exactly the same definition I use for microservice cloud projects and stock Java 7 projects. There's no, no, no difference there. Um, I always rely, if possible, on only one single Java 7 API dependency. Okay, and now create uh, the, um, the REST endpoint. And this is going to be uh, clouds, AirHex clouds. It's going to be the boundary and clouds resource is the um, name of the endpoint and then i would also use the path with the same name clouds and it would be nice to have a method of course which returns let's say oracle duke java and then i will mark it with get and this this, this is the simplest possible java 7 app and um, then uh, what I also need to do is to implement a Docker file. Um, and I would like to inherit from already existing Glassfish image and then copy the, uh, I know that this is Maven, so there is a target folder and the name is Clouds War. And I would like to copy it into deployment there and the deployment there is a environment uh, variable defined in the super image here. So this is all we need. Um, now switch to to the um, to the project, and what I would like to do is to to build this first with Maven, and then I build it with uh, the name Airhex slash with the tag name Clouds dot. So um, this is the initial build, so uh, still fast. So what happened now, It uh, the, the Maven project was built with the thin war and then an ex ex executable image with um, with uh, Glassfish v5 was, uh, was built. And then I would like to push it to the public registry, um, Airhex Clouds, and hence I don't use any prefix, prefix here. It means um, it will use the uh, public Docker registry. As you can see, it pushes um, around 10k to the um, to the um, uh, Docker registry. And um, why it's so quick? Because the Glassfish v5 is already was was already pushed to the registry, and uh, therefore only the delta is pushed. This is only possible with Thin Wars or Java 7 because we have deployment model, and the application server has to be pushed only once. And uh, and the and the and the thin wars are just pushed as the last layer, which is very quick. So um, now let's um, go to the um, to the to the Oracle Container Cloud. And what happened before? So I created a machine, the smallest available machine, and then uh, with I can log into the machine, which also happens here. And here I can container the service. So I won't use any predefined service. Also, you see I did some experiments. So there's this Glassfish v5 already as the um, as uh, as uh, as executable image. So I will uh, create a new service. And the service name is clouds. And this would be clouds on Glassfish v5. Scheduler does not really matter. Availability per pool. Uh, image is airhex clouds is the image name uh, no commands everything is pre prepared and ports so 
we need a port mapping and this is a TCP mapping. Port 8080 is mapped to 8080, so save it. And then I will save it as well. And then I have to try to find my own service. So clouds, there is a clouds, I can ask it to deploy the cloud. So okay, deploy it. And uh, now it pulls the image uh, from from the um, from the Oracle cloud and um, it runs. So this was all uh, we need to run the service. What's interesting here, we can find out here. So we have here the, the path, we have here the um, environment entries, and what we also see there is a public IP address. So what I could do, I can go here and say 8080. And this is our glassfish. And with clouds resources, clouds, we see our Oracle Duke Java from Oracle Cloud um, deployed with a full stack uh, glassfish v5 without any optimization. There is no web, pro web profile, it's full stack. Um, and um, yeah, Oracle Container Cloud is an in interesting alternative. And what you can, of course, can do, you can also um, you can also uh, connect to your private registry, so you are not restricted to use the public registry. So and why would it was so quick? Quick because um, I I pushed the CentOS 7 and Glassfish v5 and JDK 1.8 uh, before this exercise, and this is also real world because the Glassfish um, images don't change very often. Only if we get a new release or a new, or a new patch, and what frequently changes is the is the thin war is the um so but this is tiny as you could as you saw 10k which is very quick so thank you for watching and see you in upcoming air hacks conferences or projects